I've been thinking about this quite a bit. And um, as educators, you know, we're leaders in our communities. We can really be role models and help people see what can be. You know, we raise the ceiling on the lives of our students and the people in which we serve. And I think that we're in a time in our world where we need educators to take a stance against things that are happening that aren't just and help our students see that they can make changes and that education is the venue for them to do that. Um, so I would like to see us help our kids fall back in love with their learning, the ones that have fallen out of it. And then also those who become principals, you're really the linchpin you know, of your school, oftentimes in your community. And it's a powerful responsibility, but it's such a great gig. <laughs> so um, just we, we, Bill and I are always open to talking to people about whether this might be the pathway they want to consider. We've had multiple um, teachers go through our educational leadership graduate program and talk about how maybe right now they don't want to be a principal, but it sure helped them be a better teacher. And they see things from such of a, they see things from a macro view um, and they feel as though they're better able to serve their students in their classrooms because of it. So I'll ping pong to you, Bill. Okay. Well, I think uh, Anne said a lot of what I would say as well. I, I guess I would add that uh, we're in an era of, of where we really need leaders that are compassionate and understanding of others. Uh, one thing that Anne and I really try and drive home, so to speak, when, when we're teaching is the idea of working in cooperative teams, the idea of working collaboratively, the idea that giving teachers and students, all community members, voice in the decisions that are made within a school and school system can only be beneficial to the community at large. So us as role models, being active listeners, um, being able to, to understand different perspectives, even if we don't agree with them, uh, really being courteous and doing this with integrity. Uh, it, there are days when it's hard, yes, but the, it can be so rewarding also when you get to that point where you see changes happening that are affecting students in such a positive way. Um, those, are the, those are the key elements of why um, I would want to become an, a principal as, 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 as a teacher, as a new teacher, uh, wanting to think about it, uh, administration. Maybe I'm ready at this point to do more than be, be a teacher, but maybe I'm also just, as Ann said, I want to be a leader within my building. We need leaders, even if they're not in an administrative role, to understand the process of administration because it is so different than often the perspectives that a teacher has without the educational piece in ed, ed, educational 